Hello, 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 hello. Welcome. Welcome to Coco's Drawing. I'm Coco and I will be drawing. But first, um, just wanted to thank you for tuning in to my very first live stream. Um, I'm very excited. I've been wanting to do this for a long, long time and uh, now it's finally happening. So that's cool. Uh, and uh, what else? I hope I will be able to do this or I'm gonna do this on a weekly basis um, and you will find I will download and upload them onto the YouTube's channel that you are looking on and uh, you can watch it back if you would want that uh, so today I thought I was gonna do a commission illustrator for a group of people with a special request and I actually they sent me an email here uh, yes I print all my emails uh, they write hello Coco we are writing you because our friend Jimmy recently quit his job to move from the busy city to a calmer place on the countryside to work remotely uh, Jimmy is what people might consider a bit of a lone wolf okay and have been feeling a bit down lately and since he left the city we don't get to hang out together as much as we used to and next week is Jimmy's 38th birthday and we would like to surprise him with a birthday card and that's where you come into the picture I see uh, I mean I've read this before but uh, we would like to make a personalized card and we give you complete creative freedom uh, we just want the card to have a drawing of Jimmy on it somehow okay now they didn't provide any image of Jimmy so I don't really know how it looks, but they write here uh, a little description. He has blonde, thick hair. Uh, he likes outdoor activities. And he enjoys cooking for his friends. And then they write, thank you so much for your help. Rose, Jane, Steve and Premuntile. Premuntile. I hope I pronounced that right. Premuntile. Premuntile, Premuntile. All right, let's uh, let's get drawing. So here we are in Procreate on my iPad, and I just have a empty empty project here. I think it's an A4 because it's going to be a printed card. A4 is a big uh, birthday card, but it's better to draw big and print it smaller. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to open it here and then I'm going to change some settings. The background color, I don't like when it's fully white so I'm just gonna drag down this black value a bit so it becomes a bit gray uh, done and then we just have a basic layer here uh, so usually I would try to you know uh, study some some um, pictures of whatever I'm gonna draw but since we only have this this little uh, description here we're gonna have to go with that so let's start uh, I'm using a brush here just a regular pencil I think you can find it here somewhere uh, and I use that for sketching uh, just to get some stuff up uh, so I'm gonna zoom in here a bit 
and we're gonna start I usually start with the head uh, so I'm just gonna quickly kind of get a round shape because most heads are round and when you use procreate uh, you can just tap the the I have a pencil here for the whatever it's called Apple pencil and you just like tap this and it kind of if you look up there on the thing it changes between eraser and pencil so this is a good start uh, and we need some kind of eyes and stuff here so maybe we put some like a tilted head a bit like this so I do this cross so I kind of just can put out some eyes on this maybe something like this a little nose maybe like this a little cheeky smile oh, not too happy I mean some pupils well, I mean life hasn't been so easy for Jimmy lately so maybe this is a let's see we can always change this later but Jimmy has blonde thick hair so there's a few ways we can go about this and I think since it's kind of what uh, Rose and uh, Jane and Steve and uh, Premuntele writes in their letter. It seems like it's very, it's a prominent feature on Jimmy. So I think we're just gonna make some kind of, you know, thick strains of hair coming down like this a bit. A little bit like some. I don't know, it's not sausages maybe, but kind of just drips down a bit like this, maybe. And this is just kind of support. Uh, just this is, We're just still in the sketch kind of thing. So I know I'm kind of getting into details already, but that's okay. Uh, then I just come in here and I erase some of the stuff that I don't like yet so something like this um, yeah I like it I think this hair is pretty it's a bit thin so I think we're gonna actually going to make a new layer on this little plus button here and then if you tap here you can go down with opacity so I'm going to go down a bit and then choose another brush uh, I'm going to make it quite thick here so we can kind of you know what I'm saying I do this sort of strains of hair just coming down like this a bit and what I can do later is I can trace these with a finer outline later but just to kind of give me a bit of a something to work work on work with I can also actually use the same size here for the nose I don't know So then, that's pretty good already. Uh, maybe we turn this down a little bit and then we just trace it again on top here with the pencil, just to kind of uh, get it in there. 
So I'm actually gonna turn down this other layers first. And I do this all the time. I trace and I trace and I trace just till, you know, I get a good feeling. And another thing I do a lot is, you know, to kind of get a good, good sense of balance. I just hold, I have a quick menu here. Uh, you can set this up. I don't remember how to do it right now, actually, but then I have this flip horizontally just added there so I can just flip it and then I can see that this is not looking great. So to do this, you kind of get a good balance. So it's not like the whole face is kind of leaning or drooping down or stuff. So then I have the selection tool. I can kind of get in here and just like make it look a bit more balanced. Just to do this now before we kind of get too used to the idea. All right, it looks pretty cute. So let's go back here and I will just trace these thick hairs like so, just to get, get it in there. really thick hair but I mean why not yeah I try to I don't know now if anyone is commenting or anything because I can't see it here in my thing um, but Oh, here's the phone. Thank you. Let's see here. Oh. I don't know if you're saying anything. I mean, I don't know why it doesn't pop up here, but never mind. I'm just going to keep on drawing this uh, beautiful hair. So I have this. Oh shit. I'm gonna keep on tracing just to get it in here a bit, like so. Then we go on here. Make sure that some kind of overlap a bit to make it look natural, like real hair. It's like here, this one is coming behind a bit. Maybe I zoom in a bit. This hair comes kind of behind here. Like this. Maybe make this a bit shorter also. This is what's nice. You have this freedom as an artist to do some crazy stuff. And this one is coming on top. Like so. And here. This one. Oh shit. Then maybe we can turn this off. And now we kind of see that it has some nice cute hair going. Uh, let's flip it and see how it looks. A bit unbalanced. Let's uh, take this one, cut it off. And then I just move it up a bit. Just to kind of, but actually, Maybe it should be a bit low. I'll take that back. I'll let it be there. Because the head is tilting and we want this very natural hair flow coming. Um, yeah, so let's flip it back actually. So I like where this is going. We have kind of a rough, rough sketch going. I can actually delete this layer because I don't like having a ton of layers here. So then I can just come in here and 
delete some of these hairs here. And the stuff that go in on top, we don't need to see anymore. Yeah. Jimmy, 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 how are you doing? Okay, so now I'm gonna just merge these two. So we have this good hair. What else does it say here? Uh, likes outdoor activities and enjoys cooking for his friend. Let's see what's happening in this chat. Is something happening here? I don't understand what's going down. Okay, this looks looks like yeah, you're having fun there. Uh, now let's pull this down a bit and or keep it actually and make a new layer so I can kind of get a rough body thing in here. So, Jimmy turning 38, what did I say? He's been a bit stressed, a bit, you know, depressed, had to leave the city. It's a fast paced life of, uh, you know, the big city. So, and he likes outdoor activities. So maybe it's one outdoor activity that I like and that I try to do as often as I can is chopping wood. I really like chopping wood with a, I almost said a scissor, I mean an ax to chop wood. So maybe we have Jimmy chop some wood. Yeah, let's do that. So to get in a nice body, you can kind of, you know, we had this drawn here before, so kind of rough out the spine. So I guess it's kind of, you know, leaning over a bit maybe like so actually i want this tilt a bit oh let's just do everything in here tilt this over a bit more like so oh, and then the hair also tilts let's tilt just uh face maybe or the contents of the face can we do that yeah and flip horizontally every once in a while yeah so the spine thing and then we have like some kind of body coming here maybe maybe something like this just box it out kind of so i have it i like the smile okay we fix that later um uh, maybe this is gonna be like the lower part of the body maybe something like that some legs, some nice legs, and this is still a rough, so you know we can always. I feel like this is already a bit off in the proportion, so I'm just gonna cut down a bit like this, move the head down a bit. Well, yeah. Then let's see. Oh. Some legs sunk like this, maybe. <clears throat> and then we need arms, of course. So let's maybe add one arm coming down here. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I can hold the axe in this arm, for example. So we can put an axe, kind of like something like that. But then you need some lay feet. Well, we need some wood, like a chopping, a wood, a wood. Um, what's it called? Like a cutting board, but for big pieces of wood. Ch I would chop um, thing. I mean, it's usually just an old tree trunk like this, kind of. You know. Grass coming here, maybe. Some pants, axe. Uh, I don't like how the axe is kind of. Just gonna cut this out. Maybe turn it, put it a bit like in front of the body. Flip it. Yeah, it looks pretty balanced. Still the face here, I'm not loving. Just moving the stuff down a bit here, maybe. gonna clean up here a little bit and we need another arm maybe it's chopping something what should he chop what can he chop um, wood or maybe he's oh yeah he enjoys cooking Maybe he's chopping some veggies or something, okay. So you don't have to chop wood. Let's make this as a placeholder for now. about the body let's actually flip this back I mean this is what it's about just back and forth and doing this stuff to just get it right I also feel like the body is more you know maybe it's a bit thinner and this leg needs to come bit more like that. And the arm maybe a bit more out here. Okay. It's getting a bit messy. I'm gonna clean it up a bit and see what's happening. Okay, I think we're on the right track here. I'm actually gonna turn this down a bit and gonna put another layer on top. 
Now I just think I'm gonna go with the liner brush and just kind of get in there. Just start tracing it and then we just trace it again, but just to get something down here, so. Let's maybe start with this face. So I just draw a round line and then in this program, if you just hold the hold the pencil when it's done, it's kind of just automatically makes it round. And then if you push another finger in there, it kind of makes it into a perfect circle. So I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, let's start with that. Then put the nose like that. It's a bit worried, you know. It's a bit. It just has this eyes, and it's. Uh, I mean, it's a natural kind of reaction. I feel you. I feel you, Jimmy. I understand. Well, maybe a mouth like this, a mysterious smile, a mysterious smile, and then we can actually do the same thing with the with the with the eye, but we just do this a bit bigger, and then you can click here on the ellipse, pull it down like this. So there we kind of have the head shape. Yeah. Then I'm gonna make a oh, make a new layer. Um and trace the hair on it. Let's check in on the chat, what's happening? Uh, let's see... What do we have here? Hello everybody! Hi! I cannot really reply here because it's gonna... It's gonna say that it's not from me, so I can't really reply anything. I'm, I see what you're saying, and I like it. I wish I could get the kind of chat in here, but it doesn't really work. So this time we're gonna have to do it like this. Maybe next time I can have some more interaction. Sorry. So where were we? Yeah. Let's trace these beautiful strains of hair and I'm just gonna use the same brush coming in here tracing carefully do that again something like this yep next one Uh, at this stage, oh, that was not good. at this stage, I kind of already thinking in colors, so I'm kind of, you know, trying to think a little bit about what we can, which colors we can have. And I'm thinking maybe. Some outdoorsy colors. Uh, some hair colors. I mean, he's blonde, Jimmy, so I guess we're gonna go with a blonde color, which is 
yellow, basically. It's the hair equivalent of the color yellow. Let's make sure we get this little detail back here, this hair coming up there and beautifully flowing down the side of Jimmy's face. So at this point then maybe we should put some I'm gonna go to the layer here with the face and I'm gonna just erase these parts that are hanging over and I'm gonna show you in a second why we do that because then we can just merge the layers on top of each other but I'm also gonna some hairs are kind of gonna come from behind you know and then some are in front so maybe I just erase this one and then I'm gonna pull this line down a little bit just to make this kind of illusion that it's you know in front of the head we can make another one of these maybe this one and this one go back to this layer pull it down yeah looking a bit messy here too much so I'm just gonna do that oh, let's keep that one okay still we're not in the finish you know we're still just trying to figure stuff out here so no need to be fully committed to to what we're doing just yet but now I'm just gonna merge these layers so what we have now is kind of this this face Jimmy Jimmy's face and yeah it's gonna be some colors I can kind of already I don't have to fill in I kind of I can visualize uh, how it's looking maybe a bit like this color actually but butter butter yellow color but we're not there yet so let's keep on tracing a bit we can also flip this just to see it's kind of it's sort of balanced I think it's fine for now uh, so maybe I do another layer just to to be safe because this head looks pretty good already, so we don't mess about too much about it with that. So let's keep on tracing here. So we have an arm coming kind of down here. Like this, and a little t-shirt, maybe. An arm. A bit thinner arm, I think. like this kind of just roughly holds that axe there it doesn't look great actually yeah that looks fine for now and then we have the body coming a bit like a bit like this mm, let's redo that there and maybe let's 
So I kind of keep the sketch underneath here, but I'm not following it like 100%. This is more just for a, to kind of support the thing I'm going for here. Do I have the other arm? Oh, this is too thick. Yeah, it's gonna come in here and I'm not super happy with this arm situation. Maybe okay. Maybe we do this. Just gonna. Do this and kind of re try to figure out the, the bend, kind of. Mwah. arm is more you know maybe it's a bit more maybe Jim is a bit more yeah this feels better and then we have the axe here big nice axe maybe it's holding it a bit more here hand comes here proportionately second hand comes here Maybe t-shirt ends here, so it doesn't kind of, you know, get to... Let me get this shape instead. Yeah, okay, I like this better. This feels more like Jimmy somehow. And then we have this lower body, which is basically just a circle. Or a sphere that I just half down here. And now we put some legs again. And I think the body is maybe a bit too. The upper body is a bit. Yeah. Then we have the feet. And then maybe the t-shirt actually ends up here. I think this is too much. Let's just get rid of that. And now we pull all this up. Then you can choose a bit here. Here's a free form, so you can just make him a bit thinner like this yeah like that like so like this like that like so let's see are we meditating yes Mariana we are meditating I am uh, I mean, for me, this is maybe the closest I get to meditating, unless I'm actually meditating. Um, so, that's really nice. What else are we saying here? Yeah, it's a beautiful community. The meditating meditation community what if everyone was drawing that would be weird i'm gonna take some meditation water here okay i'm we're making progress i think I feel like
maybe it should be a bit more heavy on top here or something. We can use this, this stork maybe and we can pull it like so, like that. This arm is definitely too far up. Okay, I'm actually just gonna clear that. Still have this. Hmm. I feel more this kind of body language. It's a bit more, I don't know feels more right. Let's do that. I'm gonna zoom in here a bit. Got this one. The t-shirt. Like this. Here comes the arm. Jimmy's arm. Jimmy. Jimmy's arm. Second arm. This is a bit. Yep. Make the hand. I don't know how many fingers Jimmy has, but we're gonna assume there's five. Then we have the shaft here. Is that? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Have a little butt there on on um, axe, so you don't, it doesn't kind of fall, fly away. There's a little hole there, so you can put the. A key, put your key here so the axe becomes kind of like a keychain. But we're not gonna do that. Right, let's leave it. Axe coming up here. Then we have the blade, probably something like this. Kind of looks like an axe. Then the shaft is kind of going through there. Yeah, I think that's okay. It's not a great axe, it's an okay axe. Maybe. I'm actually gonna just turn it a bit like so. Check the balance. Looks a okay. And this hand size, we're gonna try to match it over here. That's holding. Oh yeah, we have this kind of chopping board situation. Can move this up a bit, like there. Also, move this tree thing up here. Yeah, okay. Let's just go with it. Not think too much. Have these legs coming. Like 
this. It's too bendy. Like it's not so bendy. So we have some feet. Gonna move this axe head a bit back because it's fighting with the pant here. Loving it. Hmm. Yeah, no, this is not good. I can't have this one. I think maybe we're gonna go with this one. It's better. Oh, did I do it now? Yeah, this is it. Scrap them, start over. Let's just trace this. Let's just trace this and see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? Let's just get this. I guess this is where I were 20 minutes ago, but... I hope Jimmy doesn't watch this stream now. Because that would be weird to see yourself kind of being drawn live. And it would ruin the surprise. So if you're watching Jimmy, you have to stop watching now so you don't. So you get some kind of surprise. Because your friends are really trying to make something nice for you. Yeah, we're gonna do this hair trick I did before with the legs. arms also hmm okay let's make a new layer and do this Okay, that's better. Uh, let me do this a little bit like this.
It's a bit of a... It's a... Game of kind of... It's a tug war. Is that what it's called? Tug war when you kind of have to... You know... Now, are these outdoorsy clothes? Mm, yes and no, but maybe we can make them a bit more outdoorsy. Let's make sh shorts, maybe. Oh yeah, we can make a cargo kind of... So the, oh yeah, pants. Legs here a bit thicker. Now we just smack in a nice side pocket. I don't know if you can see that. But I think we just... Let's put a pocket in there. I think that's cool. Then the leg. Something like this. This arm needs to come down. There's something off here. It doesn't really matter so much either. Um, all right, let's some maybe some feet could be cool. Uh, maybe just some slippers. That's usually what I wear when I go out to sh chop wood. It's not like I put on my best... My best boots. I just, you know, go out just to clear my mind, sort of. A little bit like meditation. Then we need this kind of wood chop thing. We have this hand. This carrot. Oh, this is so... yeah, okay. It's cooking hot dogs. That's what we're doing, we're chopping hot dogs. Do you chop hot dogs when you cook hot dogs? Yeah, you do. If you want smaller... Smaller hot dogs. I feel the legs are a bit too thick. I don't think... It's just my kind of drawing preference. I like them a bit weirder. I don't know about you people, but I would be really happy to receive a birthday card from a friend from some friends and I think I will be really happy will be really lucky to have as nice friends or I am as lucky As uh, Jimmy, I, I also have really good friends, is what I'm trying to say. And I would be really happy if someone would do. But also, 
give me a, a nice card like this. What am I doing now? These legs come up. Legs come down longer. Okay, here we go. Here we go, okay. I'm feeling it. This wood thing needs to come down. This leg should be a bit higher up, I can see. Now we're talking. Sometimes it's just these small things that is easy to forget. That when you're in a when your body is kind of to the side, of course the hand further away from the viewer is gonna be smaller. <coughs> smaller. Look. Can you see? So this hand is further away from the camera, and this is closer. So it's two different sizes. So this is important to remember when drawing realistic stuff like this. Then we can also make this chopping thing a bit higher, so it's a, just about to place the... It's a sauce, it's a hot dog. I just... Just decided. I have a hot dog going on there. Okay, I'm feeling quite... Confident that this... Point... That we're gonna just take away. Sometimes you just have to like rip the. I'm just gonna delete it. Now I don't have it anymore. So I'm gonna have to deal with the deal with it. I think we can actually move this up even further like oh yeah it's a little bit like that wow jimmy you look you look like jimmy okay i feel like maybe the lines are about to be nailed i'm just gonna trace them here one more time and this is probably one of my favorite things to do Just to come in here and it's so satisfying. Yeah. Let's see if we can make sense of this axe blade. How is that? Maybe something like this. I've never really Is that what it looks like? Whatever, actually, at this point, whatever. It's not like you're gonna think it's something totally different. Kind of looks like an axe. The context is there, there's a chopping thing, there's a, it's a hot dog. It has outdoorsy clothes. What else could it be? It's an axe. And then again, the shaft coming down here. That was a bit... Okay. Do that again. Sometimes I forget I can zoom in, but uh, thumb, this little thing, cool. That's an axe. Now let's get this shirt down. I want to end just kind of above the blade there, so it doesn't interfere too much yeah it's 
second sleeve arm coming grabbing the hot dog just like that This hand is a bit bigger than the other one. I'm gonna make it better. Cool, okay. Let's do this hair trick thing again. We just make the... Oh wow, that's a big sausage. Hot dog. Ah. Oh. There we go. Pull this down, place it a bit better, the hand, then we just trace it. Perfect. Yeah, now we're just enter this kind of moment where it's just it's just highway cruise and it's a wonderful wonderful feeling let's see these cargo shorts yeah the cargo shorts are it's important to get them right I think so take your time with this hmm I know I just said that we're just cruise control but this doesn't feel right let's see flip it yeah okay I see I see then we come in and it's kind of leaning in an awkward way so we just cut it Turn it like this, up. Like that. Take the legs. Just turn them a bit. This wood thing, a bit smaller. Yeah, flip it back, back to the tracing. Layer. Oh yeah, now this is working. Now this is working. Now we have the legs come down, beautiful. Like that, we put the heel in and this yeah now it's like a it's like a dream now we're just cruising down the meditation lane let's get those slippers they're a bit big So there's room to room to grow both physically and mentally socks absolutely wearing socks and not to forget the pocket 
Dorsey Pocket. Cool. Let's do this chopping board kind of thing. Make it look natural, a bit wonky. Like a piece of wood. Pull some grass, maybe. It's coming up from behind here. Maybe a little bit of a thing. Maybe we add a bit of a cut here. It's cracked a bit. Maybe here as well. And some Yeah, I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay, here we go. That's good, that's Jimmy. I feel like this is... I feel like it's Jimmy when his friends are kind of coming up to his house, he's living off grid, haven't met anyone in maybe 14 weeks and you can just he's standing there making himself some food and he could just see some lights coming there behind the trees and uh, it's kind of like trying to uh, haven't seen anyone else. Maybe the car coming in. It's the headlights kind of shining on him, and it's a bit. It's a bit like what's happening. Who's that? Then he's slowly kind of real. I think this is the moment in this drawing. That he's kind of, what the hell is going on? Also, he has this this smile. Uh, this awkward smile. You can kind of see that. He kind of, he recognized that someone is coming for him and he probably knows it's his birthday. So he kind of sensed that there's a good, that's a nice surprise coming. So this is kind of what I think this is. And okay, it's not perfectly balanced. Whatever. It's a... Uh, that's just what it is. It doesn't need to be perfect also. Then you would just have a picture. You would just have a photo of... Uh, just have a... You would just have a picture of, of uh, Jimmy. Let's see. I'm just going to check here for some in the chat here. Maybe Jimmy's... It's Jimmy single. Yeah, Jimmy... Uh, they don't say in the in the letter if he's single, but uh, they also didn't mention, I get the feeling that he's single. Let's see what else they're saying here. Uh, Jim is a left-leaning vegan. That also doesn't really say in the letter but I see what you mean. Kind of looks like it a bit. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, if he hasn't met anyone in 14 weeks, he's definitely single. Yeah, anyone. I get, I get it. Uh, you can send him your number, yeah. Uh, Mariana saying here, asking if you can send him. I'm just gonna, when I send them the finished card, I could just also ask if it's okay uh, to uh, provide your number in the thing. In the thing. That would be a nice surprise for Jimmy. To uh, get like a 
maybe a, maybe a date or something. I don't know. Anyway, here we are. I think it's time for some color. And I'm just going to commit to this and slap them together. All right. New layer underneath. Uh, we choose some color. Now, I don't know what this palette is. I just have it there. So let me have a sip of... This palette is just something I have laying here, but it comes in handy. You can just choose it. Let's do the shorts first, the cargo shorts. And I know cargo usually or often is um, khaki, but not Jimmy, because Jimmy is not city smart. He's, I think, more of a outdoorsy person as because he likes outdoor activities so let's just get a kind of a hunter hunter green shorts so top layer here i have the outline maybe i just rename this layer i usually don't name the layers and i just have a chaos and this but just let's put it in here outline cool color shorts zoom in i do the same thing as before i just have my liner here put it a bit thicker i just kind of go and since it's underneath here i'm just gonna follow around like so i like that so if i turn this off it's just a fully fold in short and then i can just take I can pull here this color and I just slap it in there and just fills it in very conveniently. And all these, when I color here, I'm going to keep them separate. So if I feel like, oh, maybe this is too dark or it's too light or whatever, I can just come in and I can just go here to adjustments and maybe turn up the lightness. So maybe actually this is more... color I'm looking for so let's do that just make a new layer let's make the t-shirt I think I washed out kind of black t-shirt like a left leaning black wa a washed a lot t-shirt so same thing here just trace it kind of behind something like this Uh, yeah, let's and then pull this. It's a bit too dark, anyway. For now, this is good. One thing I will do I will make a new layer, I will take completely white. And I would drag this and just fill the whole layer white all over and go in these um, layer settings here. Let's put to normal and we're gonna slide all the way down to color. And if we do that, we just get the value. So this is kind of important because you don't want everything to have kind of the same value if you want some dynamic professional looking illustration on your birthday card so this you can use uh, so I'm just gonna untoggle this for the moment being uh, okay let's maybe do some hair and skin color I was thinking about this but maybe it's too Barty too Simpson maybe this Let's just try it. We can always change the color. So, yeah, maybe this is a bit too poppy, but I need to trace this anyway. So let's just do it and uh, we can change the color later. Now, maybe some of you who are watching have used this program before, this software, Procreate, knows that you can actually just take this outline click on it and um, 
pick it reference and that kind of makes it say reference under the outline and what you can do then is just make a new layer and then when I pull this in here I'm just gonna fill it and use this outline drawing as a reference I kind of like this but sometimes you know it can has this weird bleeding I don't like this if I kind of do something but let's just do it now to to keep it simple you can also take here continue oh whatever I'm just gonna pull this here looking good and then of course have some more skin color now Jimmy is totally kind of blonde and some people might think that's a problem but I kind of think that maybe this is I mean it's also again it's a cartoon kind of thing it doesn't really have to uh, you know reflect exactly reality so I'm just gonna keep it like this and it's the same color uh, maybe some axe axe put a woody color for the handle here nothing fancy just put it in there looks like wood looks like wood let me take the other thing and since this is kind of a tree stump has been outside for quite a while I think we gotta make it a bit more kind of grayish brown uh, yeah it's not super important but while we're at it why not make it absolutely perfect like i usually say oh now it's on this ridiculous reference i'm gonna turn that off because i don't i don't want that looks good and then maybe a little bit lighter color on top here because uh, that's kind of where the wood is chopped off if you know what I'm saying something like this fair enough let's look with this Oh, it looks kind of dynamic. Cool. Let's turn that off. Let's just smack in some more. Let's put the slippers, maybe a, also a dark kind of... Just n neutral gray. Frop. Amazing. It looks so cozy, these, I really like these slippers. Uh, let's see, I'm just checking in on the chat here. Uh, love it, it's a good birthday gift, Florencia says here. Yeah, I, I agree, thank you. Uh, many people saying that, or two people saying it's the good birthday gift so uh, cool is Jimmy Polly I do not know I mean there's a lot of questions about Jimmy that I don't know because I don't know Jimmy but 
I can only guess, and I th he's a bit of a lone wolf. Um, and he seems kind of stressed out. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it's Polly. Classic off-white socks. Might be too bright. Let's go down a bit there. Yeah, these socks were once white and they've been washed with this t-shirt and this is the color now. All right, all right, we have the axe blade, not a gray color. Maybe we put it a bit to the bluish, like a cold steel. Oh my God, do you remember cold steel? This uh, weird sword so sword company or whatever it was they were hilarious they were making swords and had very um, very cool uh, demo videos of these swords I think it was called cold steel you can go and watch that immediately after the stream but not yet we're not done we're getting there though this is kind of same call no it's not okay cool let's do this dynamic check again perfect i have to say this is real looking really good then we have the vegan hot dog uh, I was about to say I've never seen a vegan hot dog but I have and I have even eaten them I don't know why I thought that but I have a feeling they're a bit more kind of oh, they're a bit more red no yeah let's put that let's, let's go with this Oh yeah, this is it. I think. Yeah. Okay, you can see I missed some color here. Nice, nice, nice. Now here on the outline, I'm just gonna fill in these pupils black to keep it easy nice and easy and now for the eyes maybe you say yeah well this is gonna be some white eye white eyes white eye what's it called egg white and ice eye white eye white but we're actually I think Sorry, I'm changing my chewing gum. Uh, let's make it a bit, you know, wor a worried, worried white eye color. Because I know I've been there. I've been there with you, Jimmy. I know what. I don't know what you're going through, but I know how it feels. And sometimes you don't sleep for a few days. And that's how it looks. And that's totally normal. I'm gonna make a little effect here, actually. I'm gonna take a darker pink. We love effects. I'm just gonna trace around here so we get the kind of a darker edge. Like that. Do it same here. And then then 
we can go here to adjustments and this blur here we can just drag this and make it a bit diffuse and blurry around there I think that's pretty sweet looking see we're getting somewhere I like it okay I think most of the colors are in there well, actually maybe we put a little bit of green grass here the what color is grass a bit yeah something like this yeah okay let's put some here by the base of this thing yeah because I don't want to put the whole kind of you know green thing down here because I think for the card I want to keep it clean clean and cool looking I'm gonna just gonna check in on the chat here uh, hello Jimmy if you're and now I'm just re I'm not pre-reading and just so it's kind of live Ariana saying hello Jimmy if you're watching we need to have a serious talk about laundry okay okay see here in the chat they are talking a bit talking about the laundry here there was the thing I said about the white socks being mixed with the I mean I'm not you I feel like uh, I kind of feel like you're I'm just guessing here like I don't know Jimmy I never met Jimmy I'm kind of just like maybe this is but fine whatever I'm just make crystal white socks it's like it's not a big deal I don't care look perfect now you can marry Jimmy I don't whatever sorry I'm just yeah maybe this is better I don't know it's more dynamic the socks are the whitest thing on the whole drawing perfect let's go with that <sighs> Okay, at this point, I think it would be nice if the lines are not, like, usually I kind of go in and I just change the outline. I make a copy of this uh, layer, the outline, outline layer, and then I just turn this off and I keep the top one. And then I'm just going to slide with two fingers. Uh, to the other side like this and that makes it the whole layer into an alpha lock so now when I if I take this green I have here uh, from the grass and I just do this it kind of just fills where the line is and we're gonna do that but we're gonna take oh, it's gonna sample this color and I do that by uh, I don't know if you see over here this thing there's a square here and I can push this and then I get this kind of color picker so I'm gonna take this blonde butter blonde and we're just gonna kind of make a dark butter blonde thing like this and then we're just gonna do this this kind of makes it look a bit smoother. I mean, it's not a big difference, but it's, uh, it's just a detail I like. I like this detail. Oh, shit. I like this detail. It just makes it a bit, you know, softer somehow. So let's just go over this. This also, of course. 
Same thing. Eyebrows. Oh yeah. They're kind of coming over here, so they're kind of covering. Yep. Also here, covering the eye. Cool. Then we have uh, other limbs, like so. I mean, this is definitely not a necessary step. I just kind of enjoy doing this. Uh, I think it's a bit fun and also it looks interesting. You also don't have to do it on everything. Like some stuff you can just keep black but now when we're going here okay so green the t-shirt is coming over the oh yeah I need to change this to kind of out line color okay You see what I'm saying? It's a bit more chill. I see I forgot one arm here with the same outline color, but we can fix that. It's not too late. I don't know if you hear that, but there's a neighbor drilling something. Which is totally normal if you live. A lot of people, I think maybe 10,000 people a day are drilling in their house. That's just a number I've just kind of thought, but I think so. Around th a thousand people. So then I just go around here, do this, color stuff, as I was saying. Sampling a color going down. I wouldn't do this if I have like a really tight deadline, but. Uh, While I have some time here, we might as well do it. Cool, 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 cool. Then this little st stumpy. Let's make this big. And it's a bit too light. Yeah, cool, cool. Oh, I accidentally hit the wrong button. So 
And then we take the, gra the grass color for this. kind of grass things whatever cool then we have the socks and let's make maybe let's do this this maybe this is cool like it doesn't have an outline they are limitless limitless perfect socks and then we do this line also here because that's the sock touching the oh no reason. That's the sock touching the kind of slipper here, so that's why we don't keep that. But I also see that this is very sloppy filled in. I don't like that at all. Let's let's make a darker. That was ugly. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Let's make this. Yeah, that's better. Sometimes you just have to try, you know? What else can you do? Slippers, darker color. Outline. Alright, there we have it. Maybe the eyes here also we make it a bit dark pink. Yep, yep. Can't believe you were hating so much on Jimmy because he didn't he accidentally put this white socks with the, the black the black sweater like accidents happen it's not like maybe he did it on purpose let's see the chat what are you saying I don't want to marry someone who's too perfect. Okay. Whatever. Whatever you want. So, I feel like this is... This is a good... It's a good illustration. So maybe we do... The birthday card is... Like one of these, you know, that you open like this. It says like, happy birthday, we love you so, so much, Jimmy. We love you so much. And then you open. And then there's a, a surprise or something nice in there. But usually it's a joke or something like, you look like, sh you look great for, for being this old and, and bad. For example, usually we don't have to do that because Jimmy already had a rough time. But maybe we should, let's just place him here in the corner maybe. So now we have everything here. Looking good, looking good. Let's just pull this. Come on. Really doesn't want to, okay. Whatever. What if I do it? Okay, it worked with my finger. 
So let's just take these, all these layers. I'm just dragging my finger to the to the right. I'm swiping right. I'll just hit group. And we have Jimmy there. So maybe I'll just move Jimmy down here to the corner a bit. And then I think we're gonna put some text on the card. So on the front, first of all, we need a front. Hmm. You know what? And these Oh, I can't make that. Sometimes they have like to play music when you open the thing. It's cool. It's really hard to make one of those uh, yourself. Oh, one thing. Uh, no. Okay, well, let's just put some text in there because we need some text anyway. So I'm just going to take a black and then I'm going to hold here, add text. Uh, I actually have my own font that I made. Uh, I used a website called Calligraph Calligrapher.com, I think. Calligrapher and instead of ER and the N it's just an R Calligra calligrapher dot com. So you can make your own fonts. I think there's a free version. So let's just do this. And it needs to say Happy Birth Birthday Jimmy. That's personalized I would say then we can maybe take just a Jimmy here pump up the size make it a bit wider something like this and change the baseline comes down a bit yeah something like this Maybe white. Oh. Edit text. Select it, then choose the color. Yeah. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Then I'm going to duplicate this layer. So we have two text layers. I'm going to choose the bottom one. Hide the top one, uh, add the text, and then we're gonna make this black actually. So now we have two layers one with black, uh, uh, one with white, and one with black. And the black one, I'm just gonna pull down a little bit so we get like this kind of drop shadow thing, and then we can just dial back this opacity. So, something like that. Happy birthday, Jimmy. That's cool. But maybe that should be on the front. Let's just make a front, whatever. Like a happy... Like this. Like you get the colorful, happy, nice... Nice card that is happy. And then we put the text. Okay, we, this is what we're doing. Look. Yeah. I'm gonna pull the text down a bit. Yeah. And then you open. Let's group these. And then you open the card. 
And there is Jimmy. It's very personalized, I would say. Happy birthday, Jimmy. And you open, and then it's just gonna say... Oh yeah, I should say something in there also. And then I'm gonna leave room there, I think. Uh, no. Let's just sketch a bit. Leave room here for them to write their their own their names. Rose, Jane, Stephen, and uh, oof. and uh, Prem Premuntile can write their names here. So it should say something here, you know. Happy birthday, Jimmy. I hope you're having a good... I hope you will have an amazing year, for example, I can say. Let's see here, we have a question. What kind of hard drawing hardware are you using? It's a, um iPad Pro. Uh, third generation I think it's also in the in the description there I put it in there uh, so uh, you can use that if you want to be like me anyway happy birthday Jimmy uh, what can you say let's just copy this text layer we pull it down on top of here. Turn this off and we have this again here and then we edit. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Uh, we hope, I actually have a, someone as a neighbor calling to, on the door. Uh, just a second, I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. There was a neighbor, probably the drilling neighbor, asking for a tool that I don't have. So, it's live. Anything can happen. Just like in real life. So, where were I? Jimmy. We hope you... We hope you feel less weird happy birthday Jimmy we hope you feel less weird this year Jimmy can you say that is, is that nice maybe that's not nice is it nice so well meaning well as a well okay, I don't know what I'm doing here now I'm just trying to do this just to add some space in between here And then change the baseline a bit up. Can you say that? I'm gonna ask you. What can it say here in the card? Or more, can you say this? Or is this too weird? So you kind of, you know. I have the card like this. Happy birthday, Jimmy. 
And we need to saw, put something on the front here, maybe a heart or something, just basic. And then you open, and the surprise is then that you are actually like, uh, it's like an exact, like imagine being Jimmy, getting this card. Happy birthday, Jimmy. And already here you can feel like your friends have really kind of thought about doing something special for you. Uh, to make a customized card like this, where it says your name. I mean, there are probably cards you can buy that has this gener gen generic names like Happy Birthday, Tommy, Yoko, Bruni, Brownie, Brat, and stuff like this. So maybe, but, you know, so at first this is what he thinks or feels, you know. But then all of a sudden you open the card and this is just a picture, like a realistic image of you. Like imagine, I would be, get really happy. So then what can it say in there? We hope, happy birthday Jimmy. We hope you feel less weird this year, Jimmy. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe it's not the best. Hope you feel less weird this year. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Keep it real, Jimmy. <laughs> Keep it real. I don't know, what are you saying? Are you saying anything in the chat? No? Okay. Well, I guess then that's fine to say. We hope you feel less weird this year, Jimmy. Okay, let's go with that. Then maybe... Um, maybe I would align this text with the one on the front, or actually the other way around, align this text at the front. Cool. This is just my thing there. I must copy this and make the same same thing here. That's with the other slide it. Oh no. Oh no, I don't have to do that. I can just ah uh, sorry. Edit text, choose it, make it black. Put this on top, dial this down 50%, making it a bit off. Drop shadow stuff. Okay, cool. Let's do that. That's cool, I guess. Maybe the background color can be a bit more. Something like this, but a bit purpley, purple. Yeah, that's nice, I think. So we have, happy birthday, Jimmy. We hope you feel less weird this year, Jimmy. Yeah. Oh, one thing we can do. Uh huh. Okay, I have an idea. So this outline here. What if we? What if we make this a bit? Okay, we do this, 
but wait. We take this front, we dial it down a bit. Then we cut a hole in it. Like this. We take this. You know what I'm saying? So we have this on the front instead. It's like a cut, uh, cut out in the front. So you just it just reveals a tiny piece of what's behind. So you have this kind of hot dog thing. And then oh okay. And then maybe there's a you know maybe there's a sp speech bubble kind of thing. Ish. Yeah. like this maybe make it another color something like this bright and happy and we take this this one and we make it Something like this, like a... Like you get the card, you see something, f something f funny. Or funny, but you know, something's happening down there. And you look closer and you realize like... Oh, you realize that like, there's a cute little worm it's a cute little worm in the hole this must be fun and then you open and then it reveals that it's jimmy making food in making food for his friends okay this is a winner because we're doing this okay perfect Uh, where am I? Okay, here. This one. Let's make it more like this. Wow, okay, I think I nailed it. I think this is it. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Let's dial this down a bit again. Happy birthday, Jimmy. We hope you feel less weird this year, Jimmy. That's perfect. And then, you know, here, they will just write their names. Rose, Jane, Steven, it's a little smiley and premuntile. That's nice, I no. I would love this. I would love this card. I think that's it. I think we got it. 
that of course I would not I would delete this but this is the card what do you say I think I nailed it let's see here People are saying in the chat, keep it going, Jimmy. That's pretty good, but I think keep it going, Jimmy. Happy happy birthday, Jimmy. Keep it going, Jimmy. I don't know. Okay, people are saying nailed it, so I guess I nailed it. Yeah, okay, cool. I think uh, I think this is it for this week. We're approaching two hours, so maybe that's a good good one. And I'm going to send this off to them and hopefully Jimmy loves it. Um... Yeah, cool. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And hopefully if you couldn't catch it now, maybe you're watching this in the future on YouTubes. Where I will also upload this. And I will maybe make some highlight reels and some cool stuff. Mm, or maybe make it into like a... I don't know. Uh, but yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, see you uh, next week. I don't know what I'm doing next week. But um, maybe I'm just drawing. Just chilling. And hopefully I got the chat going. So I can just kind of be more chill. And do it. Just one detail. I just saw it here when I was looking over. You know. I really want. I really want this to happen. Oh my god. Look how cute. That's so cute. Just has this little sparkle in the eye, like you just cried. Or maybe it's very moved, you know, when they are coming there. I hope they are going there. They don't. They didn't really say. Maybe they're just sending the the card. I hope they go and visit Jimmy. Off grid, off grid, Jimmy. All right. See you next time. Thank you so much for tuning in. And um, take care. Ciao.